All right, so say you have a CD player that thinks it's just too good for your CDs. Right? Uh, in a previous video, in case you haven't seen it, I've mentioned that old uh, CD players, in, uh, in particular these Audio 10 CD Mercedes radios made by Pioneer, uh, they will only read 650 megabyte uh, discs, which this one is. And at that, so the Excuse me. Uh, so the 650 meg ones, it should read impeccably, right? But then some of them simply do this. Right, so it just cannot lock onto the groove, onto the track. And at some point it just gives up, quite soon actually, and it says fuck it, spits out the disc. Obviously, now that I'm recording, it doesn't take two seconds, it takes 50, but uh, you can see it's not working, though. So, let's see if it gives up in five seconds. If not, I'm gonna eject it, because anyway, it's not reading. We're not listening to music, we're not having a good time, right? So that's definitely it. But the good times are gonna roll in, so stay tuned. Alright, so it's not doing anything, so let's uh, spit out the disc. I'll show you guys, at least in this particular case, what you have to do, and um, more broadly, right, this should apply to pretty much all the, well, pretty much all, I'd, I'd even venture to say all of them. Right, so let's, uh, let's get a good angle, let's actually zoom in a bit because I'll uh, show you guys some fine details, let's get some extra light in here. So this is quite an involving shot, but uh, should come out quite fine. Actually. So I'll just pop the pop the CD, CD module out of the radio because uh, yeah, why not? So here is obviously the ra laser, right? First thing to do is uh, is wrap a flathead screwdriver in a uh, microfiber cloth, put some rubbing alcohol or window cleaner or whatever you want or nothing, and just rub the rub the lens really well, rub it thoroughly. As you can see, this one doesn't look dirty at all. Right, so usually they catch this film on top of them, which is not the case here. All right, so let me see how I can move the light around. Um, so I'll guide your attention. Can we zoom in everything a little bit? So this uh, this laser has a trimmer potentiometer right here. This one. Right, and I might even zoom further in software. Yeah, let's uh, let's cap it there. And so this potentiometer you can see has so first of all it goes between here and here, and it's um, or actually here, so between here and here, and it's 2.1 k or thereabouts, and usually by default. What Alpine does is set it right here. Let me come in a different way. So it they set it to somewhere here. There's even a little N on the potentiometer, and so they set it right over there. You can see, like, this is the default value. Let me get even more light in there. Right, so you can see the little tiny pip. Fuck. Little tiny pip is over is over here, kind of. Okay, good. So what you want to do is access it through this porthole, right? and um, rotate it counterclockwise a tiny, tiny amount. So you don't want to burn your laser diode because that would ruin everyone's day. So I'd say this is enough, right? So we're talking 15 degrees tops. All right. So let's uh, put it back together now. It is uh, obviously advisable not to have the radio powered on while you do this, but I am a trained novice, so should be fine. All right, let's get the CD back, and uh, I would venture that it, it should work perfectly now. So let's... And it does. Alright, so... 
it immediately finds the tracks. Whereas before, it really wouldn't. And the last track. Right, so I hope this, uh, this proves the point and um, helps at least some of you guys. Have a good one.